Hello, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of Preferred Pain Center here in beautiful Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. Today the topic is treating chronic low back pain with facet joint injections. Facet injections are the most common interventional pain procedure in this country and with good reason. Let's look at the extent of the low back pain problem. 90% of Americans deal with back pain at some point and thankfully 90% of that back pain goes away within 6 to 12 weeks. However, there is a percentage of the U.S. population, 15%, who deals with chronic pain on a daily basis and a significant amount of that is low back pain related. So what that adds up to is there are millions of Americans dealing with this problem. Well, how often is the lumbar facet joint generating that pain? Well, when the studies that have been looked at, it's about 30 to 40 percent. So think about that. I mean, a lot of back pain is coming from the facet joints. Well, what are the facet joints? Well, let's look at that for a second. You have the low back here. This is your um, ilium, your sacrum. This is the lowest part of the lumbar spine here. These are your spinous processes, those bumps that you can feel on the back of your lumbar area. These are your facet joints. You have a thumbnail sized facet joint on both sides of your spine. And then these are the discs in the front. Okay? So how do you make the diagnosis of facet joint arthritis and pain? Well, first is patient history. You know, when does the pain come on? Uh, how often? How long does it last? How bad is it? Uh, do you have pain in extension? Do you have pain uh, um, sitting? You know, all those kinds of questions the doctor will, will ask. Physical examination, you know, is there tenderness? Where is it? Um, is there, how's the range of motion? Those kinds of things can help with the, the diagnosis of uh, facet joint pain. X-rays and CAT scans and MRI can help as well. Let me show you here. This is a slice of the spine. So this is the vertebral body here in the front. And actually, this patient has a large infection here, but that's irrelevant to what we're talking about. These areas back here are your facet joints. And this area in the middle is the spinal canal. And this is that bump on the back of your spine where you can feel the spinous process. Look how clean these facet joints look. There's really no arthritis in this patient's facet joints. So if these look ratty and they have bone spurs, things like that, that's significant facet joint arthritis. Just like knee arthritis, you may see a ton of arthritis, the patient may have no pain. Doesn't mean the patient's gonna have pain. Lastly, you know, a lot of times the pain doc or the um, orthopedic doc may just flip a coin. It's very difficult to make the exact diagnosis. That's why diagnostic facet joint injections came into play. Because half the time, even the best trained spine doctors get it wrong. Here, once again, you see um, a picture showing the facet joint here. And this one was drawn to look ratty and overgrown, so that's significant arthritis. Here's actually a needle going into a facet joint. These pictures match up. This is called the transverse process with bone coming out on the sides. Same thing as here. This is the facet joint. All right. Well, a diagnostic facet injection is when a pain doctor inputs a needle either into the facet joint or in the area around it with the goal of making sure that is the pain generator. So the theory is that numbing that area should relieve the pain, right? So if that pain is coming from the facet joint, and it should get numb during the procedure and you know you should know your answer. If it doesn't, that's not where the pain is coming from. If it gets rid of some of the pain, then maybe it's, a, it's something where it's in between and that's partly the pain generator. So these two pictures show nicely what I need to talk about. Medial branch block is an injection for the medial branches. And I'll paint the picture here. This is your spinal cord or dural sac. This is a nerve root coming out. There's another one down here. So we're not talking about any of that. We're talking about these little branches right here and here. Those are called the medial branches. Here's another one. 
they supply sensation to this joint, which is the facet joint. They cause the joint to have pain. So that's what brings sensation to the facet joint and causes pain. If these didn't exist, the facet joints wouldn't hurt. So when you're putting numbing medicine in this area, that's what you're going for. On the right side here, you have a needle going right into the facet joint, providing a numbing medicine right into the joint. Well, what constitutes a positive result? Some studies show that 50% is adequate, and that's what some insurance companies require uh, to go on to a radio frequency ablation, which we'll talk about later. Some studies show 80% pain relief gives a more accurate diagnosis. So some insurance companies require 80%. Some actually require 80% on two separate injection procedures prior to a radio frequency. The one study that uh, is very recent showed that if the 80% criteria is used at two years time, 90% of patients still maintain that diagnosis of facet joint pain. If the 50% criteria is used, only half of patients still had that diagnosis. So 80% is much more accurate. Well, do the facet injections work? The answer is they absolutely work. The average is 80% pain relief that lasts for five to seven months. And if those wear off, repeat injections work very well. Patients note substantial improvements in their overall health status, their return to work capability, and their functional and psychological states. You know, playing with your kids, enjoying time with your loved ones. It all gets better. Radio frequency ablation um, is shown in this picture. And what you have is you're doing an injection as if you're doing an injection in the same area. These are the facet joints here. And these are the medial branches coming up from below and coming down from above. So the needle goes into this area, and it's basically heated up, and these medial branches are deadened rather than numbed. And that can give pain relief for anywhere from 6 to 24 months. It's a great modern technological advancement in pain management. And then these nerve endings will grow back, and the procedure can just be repeated with excellent results. Prefer Pain Center is in Phoenix, Arizona. We service the whole valley, state, and even some patients around the nation. We do interventional pain management with any interventional procedure you can think of. It's all outpatient. We started regenerative medicine, stem cell injections over the last few months, getting great results. Medication management is done as well. Um, at our rehab center, we do PT and rehab, chiropractic treatment. We have a spinal decompression therapy machine, um, acupuncturist, and manipulation under anesthesia um, is done by some of the doctors there. We treat back pain, neck pain, arm and leg pain, along with headaches. We see a lot of uh, complicated cases, failed surgery. Our MDs are board certified and fellowship trained. So check us out at preferredpaincenter.com. You can call us directly at 602-507-6550. We take most major medical insurances. Or email us directly at info at preferredpaincenter.com. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of Preferred Pain Center. Your pain stops here.